Hello everyone and welcome to iSharePoint All. In this video I'm going to be doing a continuation of my components video that I did a while back. In that components video I'm going to list the link to it at the bottom of of this video so you can be able to go and watch that video. That video was somewhat um, contrived. It's, it was just me just throwing a bunch of components on a page not really hitting the list and, 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 and showing you how, how all that works. So I'm going to show you how that works in, in this video so let's go ahead and get started um, so what I have I have my components page here I just have a simple table that's already here and let me just show you the code to my simple table so I have this HTML to add some CSS I have this table um, I'm looping through an item the item is being popular here's my view instance all of you should be familiar with this now if you've been watching my videos uh, I'm using Axios, it pings the help desk um, list, and then it just dumps everything into this items, and that's what I'm looping through in my HTML portion. So now what I want to do is I want to add my expansion. Let me see if I can find that uh, expansion. So here's the expansion code, and let me show you the expansion what what it looks like if you don't remember so here is my let me go here so expansion so I'm gonna add this expansion to that page I just showed you and the reason you want to use components, um, it makes life easier. If I didn't use components, what I would have to do to is I would have to um, add a bunch of divs to add my expansion. But I don't want to do that. So this is a way to extend my, um, my, my view instance by just adding components. So let's go ahead and get started. So the way you have to, if you remember from my last video, you have to first register it. So view, view dot component. So it's an object within, um, within the parentheses. It's basically a constructor, and then you give it a name, the name of your tag. So I'm gonna say my expansion tag. So it's like a, a customized tag you're creating that you're gonna add to your H HTML page. So now, create your data object. So data is going to be a function here in this instance. You know, you know. So it's going to be function. And then you have to do a return. So this is the best practice way. Um, and that's I did it also here for my initial instance here. Usually you do something like like this. So new view. Uh, oops. And then you create your data like your data object like this. And then you add all your um, properties in here. But you can do it this way. It doesn't, you know, this way works great. But from my readings, this is the best practice: is to return, um, to return it. So to do it that way is a like a function. So let's to return back here. So we're gonna return. So this component is my expansion. So I'm gonna have me an expansion array, expansion. And basically, let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just kind of copy and paste. Because once you do this, right, you're gonna come down here. Let me let me go back to my form here. Let me go to the code. So let me come here and I'm just gonna copy from right here, create it. So all this stays the same. So copy this. 
copy and then let me bring up my code so I come here I do a comma oh actually I just paste it okay so here in this view component my created so all that is familiar to you so now what I do next now what I do next I need to create my template so I come here after my method I do a comma and then I say template and here's what you, where you're gonna add what should go what should what you're going to this what's going to display in your tag so when I put this down um, whatever is here in this template is what's going to be displayed this is just all this right here is all the background work so I'm gonna use a template literal or string literal or whatever they call it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to the HTML portion go to the HTML And I am just going to copy my HTML and put it in that string literal. So this is all I need. So just come here and copy this. Copy. And let's go to my code. And between that string, I am just going to paste. And really, that's all you got to do. So once I do that, once I do that, I'm going to save it. Now what I have to do is just go to my HTML, copy, and I'm just going to, let's just paste it beneath the table as a tag. So do that, paste, there you go. And that's it. Save. Now let's go check out and see what it looks like. So I'm going to come here to my components page click on that let me do a hard refresh and if not we can kinda debug it see what's going on let's give it a second here I'm waiting for a little bit let me do a F12 just to see if I got any errors and I do have so it says a known custom element so let me do a hard refresh I think because it's there so so found okay property name of the expansion is not defined on the instance so let me go back and see what's going on so my expansion tag, then I go to my component, go back to my components, expansion. Maybe I don't have, let me see. Just wanna make sure I have the viewify, okay. Let me bring up my expansion, so open folder. Oh, actually, so just kind of stay with me here as I kind of debug and see what's going on. So let me go to my web part. And go to the expansion, make sure I have all the right libraries. I should. And then click on that. slow so okay beautiful okay I see everything's correct so everything's looking right 
Okay, let me close some of these windows down. Close some of these windows down. Property or method expansion is not defined in the instance, but reference during render. Make sure that the property is reactive. So let me come back here. Components. So this is the methods that I have. Method, get list data. All oh, that's fine. Let's see. Okay, it was a little, I had a misspelling here. I have expanding here instead of expansion. So S, save, let me go back. Do a hard refresh. Yep, and there's my expansion tag. Let me go here and make that a darker color so we can see that the component's working. So if I come here, oops. So one of the attributes you can add to this is called dark so if i say dark save come back out here refresh There you have it. And um, if you know CSS, um, you can kind of arrange this, you know, put it to the side or however you want to arrange it. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to extend your components and bring in items from a list at the same time. So that's kind of how you would use your components. And you can have several components. And the wonderful thing about a component is it's reusable. So watch when I do what happens when I do this. If I say if I do this, do it three times, save. If I come here and I do a hard refresh, hard refresh. Oh, what's going on? So let me do that again. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, it's rendered several times because I used that tag several times. So I hope that made sense. Um, if you're a designer, you can make it more cleaner and arrange it on the page the way you want. Um, but anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Please share. Thank you. Bye.